well, to the soldier's uh, head, we kind of inhibited their ability uh, to do different things on the battlefield. And once they were wearing body armor, uh, we found out in a lot of cases, when they were in the prone position with their rifle, they could not lift their head up high enough to look through the sights on the rifle because the back of the helmet hit the, the collar of the body armor. So we redesigned the helmet, we made it a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller, it provides a little less protection, uh, but it's made out of the same Kevlar bullet resistant material. Okay, what I talked about with some of the work that we do at the U.S. Army Natick Soldier Research Development and Engineering Center, uh, known as the uh, Natick Army Labs, and I talked about the evolution of camouflage and also the evolution of personal protective equipment uh, like body armor and helmets. Uh, so we could show uh, the veterans that were here uh, from different eras, uh, remind them of the, the equipment and the uniforms that they might have worn, and then showed how those changed over the last 50 or 60 years uh, to evolve into what we have now, uh, which is the stuff that is uh, being issued to our soldiers in Afghanistan and the, some of the work that we're going to be doing on, uh, for technological developments for future uniforms and equipment. And we also added, and this vest didn't have it, uh, side plates. And what we found in Afghanistan, uh, and in some degree to Iraq, uh, in Iraq, was that soldiers were uh, getting shot here on the side. Uh, and so, you know, they were protected on the front and the back, but if they took, uh, you know, an AK-47 round, to the side, then they were still getting that kind of catastrophic injury uh, to their vital organs. So we added these side plates. We test uh, equipment constantly. Uh, we do a lot of different work at, uh, at the U.S. Army Natick Labs and my organization, NSRDEC. Uh, we not only do uniforms, boots, body armor, helmets, eye protection, uh, and all of that soldier individual equipment and personal protective, equipment related stuff, but we also do load carriage, which is backpacks. Uh, we do personnel and cargo parachute systems. We do all the armies and actually all the services combat rations through the Department of Defense combat feeding program. Uh, we also do all shelters, uh, so rigid wall and soft wall shelters and tents. So we do a lot of different work there that impacts the soldier's life every day. And it's a continuous product improvement process in a lot of cases. Uh, as we come up with new technological developments and we figure out how we can incorporate those into new equipment for soldiers. But it's basically like your computer screen. It's, it's set up so that it has pixels in it, like your flat screen digital TV or your computer screen or your phone. And uh, there's a sensor in the front and it protects against directed energy, which is laser beam type stuff. So there's a lot of lasers on the battlefield. They're not necessarily weapons and they're not necessarily used to degrade your visibility or hurt your eyes, but they can because they're lasers. Uh, and so what these glasses do is they figure out the point of impact of where the laser spot is and it pixelates that area and makes it dark to prevent the laser rays from getting into your eyes. And if you move, then the pixelated dot moves so it continues to protect against wherever that beam is. Uh, we do get feedback and we actively solicit feedback, uh, feedback from our soldiers, uh, not only in the field uh, training, but also uh, the soldiers that are deployed. And we get a lot of our uh, best feedback from soldiers who are in a combat theater of operations. But we also uh, like to talk to civilians, uh, and it's always interesting to get the input of veterans, uh, especially guys who have served in the military, uh, in World War II or Korea or Vietnam uh, because some things change and some things don't. And, uh, you know, we consider service members to be always service me members whether they're still serving or not. Uh, and so we value their opinions and we and value their experience.